Vanetta Lopez is one of Singapore's most well-known personalities. She's an actress, a TV presenter, and a host of one of the country's most popular morning radio shows. And she's got to be the ideal person to show me how Singapore works. She's going to show me her Singapore, the real Singapore. The Singapore that exists beyond skyscrapers and shopping malls. Well, that was a flight 13 and a half hours. I smell like I've been lying at the bottom of a bird cage. But hey, I'm here now. I don't know much about Singapore, to be honest. I know there's lots of rules and regulations, quite conservative. Looking forward to meeting the family, though. But this airport's nice, isn't it? I think I might, might just have a little look around first. Uh, this is my dad. Mr. Look, Albert Lopez. We call him Blondie. Uh, I'm not more blonde anyway. Uh, I just seen my Half Blondie. My mom. Hi. Married to Albert, lah. So you know, that's how it works. Okay. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Maybe I'm in the middle, yeah. Ah. Oh. I'll take some, yeah. If you just get your head out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Is that's that... it. Hold the flowers out. That's it. That's love. Thank okay. you. That's love. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. This is my husband, Wayne. He's my British husband. Hello. It's like a country in itself. I don't actually see why you've got to go to Singapore, because everything you need is here at the airport. I've vaguely got a memory I've got to meet someone, but... just gone. It's a little bit late. I don't know why I bothered walking all the time. That's it. I'm staying where I am. Pete is in the bar. Could be in the bar. Why do you think he's in the bar? Why aren't we there with him? Cheers. Did you want a beer, sir? Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, Thanks. OK. I've asked you to make an announcement, so... Oh, announcement, announcement. Your attention, please. Mr. Yen Wright, with your family, is waiting for you. <laughs> I was waiting. I was got distracted. I got arrested. <laughs> I thought that was Singapore. <laughs> he's here finally. The first thing I learned about Vanetta's dad, Albert, is he's a serious motorcycle nut. Not a bad way to get from the airport back to their house, is it? Look at this again. He's back, Stephanie. Running it up like he's the leader of the pack. Wow, man. That was the ride. Thanks, Albert. Uh, no oh, she's <laughs> man, he can drive. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on Hi in. Again. Come on in. Oh, are you so... sure you want me in your house? Yeah, you can say yeah. no now. Yeah. Uh, we'll give it a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Our yeah. humble kitchen. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Eh? It's a nice backyard for you to chill out in the morning. Yeah. So, do you normally do an inspection of a house? Before? Well, you know, the thing is, you've got to have a little look around, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just to stay out of the underwear drawer. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh, I like it, a little barbecue. You've got a bar outside. Yes, yeah, so take a look, take a look. Take a look. That's lovely. Yeah, this Welcome. Is, it's really no, great to be here. Are you having a drink here or anything? Barman! Yeah. I'm in my office. Could I have a strong diet <laughs> coke, please? <laughs> Breakfast is at 7.30. No, we're going to need it to get all the air around here. It gets a bit stuffy up here. Is this yeah. like a typical Singapore house? Oh, I know, for a house, yeah. yeah okay. A terrace or a bungalow. Very nice. So, uh, welcome to your room. OK. Oh, wow. Oh, isn't that cool? Make yourself yeah, like at the... home. Yeah, we got some cool. magazines for you. I like to select some... Yes. Fist exercise. Yes, because we know a real man was coming in today, Jeez, so... Yeah. Yeah. I think I've dislocated my finger. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Just Here we go. Essentials first. I must warn you that we have a bit of a situation. It's a, it's a leaky... Oh, my God, yeah, it's a it's bit a, leaky in there. It's a leaky tap. I had one of them back at home. I fixed it, to be honest. You can do it, babe. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yes. What's that, that doing there? It's the stress reliever. I'll take you to the gym and teach you how to do it properly. Yeah, OK, sounds yeah. good. Man. All right, you go and settle in, relax, yeah, have a shower if you want, and we'll see you later, yeah, OK? I have to. Thanks right. a lot. 
Bye. Bye. The thing what I love is like when someone in the house says they've got something wrong and you know you can mend it, it's brilliant. Because if you do do it, then you get mega branding points and they love you forever. And something like a sink thing is such a simple thing to do. Oh, oh. Shopping mission for you. Where, where, where to? What are you doing in there? Uh, and the water got everywhere. Uh, okay, well, um, don't take too long. I'll see you downstairs. Oh yeah, I'm leaving that. That's ridiculous. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Yeah, I've got it all. All right, uh, have fun. Be good. Yeah. Remember what I told you. Yeah, don't worry. I've got it. I've got it all up here. Don't eat chewing gum. Don't litter. Don't pee in elevators. The one thing I do know about Singapore is that it's famous for lovely grub. And Vanetta's mum, Doreen, is going to cook me a special Singapore dinner. But first, I've been sent out on a mission to the famous Chinese market to find some of the more obscure ingredients. No problem, old. You have to go down. He's up. I can safely say I've found it. <laughs> And looks like it's worth it as well. Fantastic. Look, all the bits of meat being cut up and then big. Oh. Right, first thing is. Bawa kula. Bawa kula. It's like a nut. Should be too hard. Yeah. Is that nuts, bala kula? It's about the chestnut. Oh, they're chestnuts. Have you got any nuts? What's that? Bar of soap. This is Okay, yeah, at last I found it. That's it. Bokra. Brilliant. Yeah, I'll have. Oh. Oh, this is this is not the same. Not the same. I can't have that. I nearly bought a whole bag of them. Bakola. Ian. Ian. <laughs> Where have you been? Thank God you're <laughs> here, darling. I think to do. Are you all right? Are no, you, are you no, okay? no. Are you I right? can't even pronounce. I only got one thing on the list. The first, only one thing on the list, and I can't pronounce it. Wakla. 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 I mean, obviously, I don't speak Chinese or Cantonese, so I'm not going to be understood anyway. No, but they do understand English. It's just that you're not speaking English the way we should be speaking English here. Yeah, but they don't speak... It's not in English I'm hearing. It is, it is. It's what called is it? Singlish. Singlish. You're making it up. There's I'm no such thing as Singlish. It is. It's Singapore English. It's a bit of Malay, a bit of Chinese. It's all kinds of things put together, so... And then it becomes our own lingo. It's our really? own pronunciation of words. Right. Give me an example, then. OK, if you're going to say wak luak, right? That's yeah, C, the, you order. Yeah, yeah. You don't say, auntie, do you have wak luak? Yeah. Or whatever you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You say, auntie, got wak luak or not? Got bak have you got wak luak or not? Yes! Hello. OK, we're back. Wak luak, I got wak luak or not? Sorry? Auntie, got wak luak or not? OK. Uh -huh. uh, excuse me. <laughs> you got wak luak or not? Bakla? Yeah. Is it Bakla? Bakla, oh, yeah. Alright. I please, please <laughs> let it be the wrong nut, please. That's the one, is that thank it? you. That's not yes. it. That's not that. Are you sure? It's a nut. Can't believe that. After all that, that is it. <laughs> it's Bakla. Yeah, Bakla? <laughs> it's not. It's, it's Bakla. It's Bakla. It's Bakla. It's not. It's Bakla. 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 Alright, After the stress of nut shopping, Vanetta says she wants to take me for a little bite. What's happening there? We are going to go have a, a massage. With a, okay. a bit of a difference. We're going to uh, also feed the fish. <laughs> I can see it's not the, the, the normal massage there. Don't Look at this, this is the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> this going to so well. <laughs> Now, so we wash the feet. Yes. The whole point of this, you can see the fish getting a bit excited. Yes. Is we're going to put our feet into the gonna pool. Because they know they're going to get a gourmet meal out of your feet. And then the fish <laughs> all come round. Oh! <laughs> and nibble your feet. It feels like... Look at that. Oh, Ooh. that's so wrong. Oh, uh, my God, they're feasting on your feet! I know. <laughs> it's not to collect, look at that. It's like I've got a fish boot on. Oh, I'm OK. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. I don't want to flinch. <laughs> What I love about this is that it's in the middle of a shopping centre. Mm. 
So, I mean, so you just do a bit of shopping and then come in for a little yeah. massage or something like that. Exactly. And also, I suppose it's like a little pocket in Asia of commerce, economy, so it's yeah. always thriving. It's very Western. Yeah. That West meets East, lovely little combination. Yeah. And that's what, so that's what you've got, isn't it? It's definitely a melting pot, you know. Yeah. Uh, people come here for all kinds of reasons. And yeah. it's clean, it's, it's, it's very efficient and it's uh, affordable. Yeah. What more can you ask for? <laughs> right, we're gonna go for Here we it. Go. Yeah. Here they come. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, corals. <laughs> the worst is that it's just nibbled your foot and then it's gone from my <laughs> face. I'm in right and I'm in Singapore. And it took me a while to get out the airport, but I finally met my host, the TV and radio star, Vanetta Lopez. My host, Vanetta's day job is to present a morning radio chat show. So I thought I'd help her out and offer my services to appear as a guest star. Hey, it's the Morning Express with Glenn Vanetta and the Flying Dutchman. A very good morning. We got Ian Wright in the studio. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome to Singapore. Uh, Ian is here doing the show. Yeah. Uh, and he's actually learning about Singapore and he's staying at my house. So, you know, oh, wow. He's a house guest. Oh, that's really cool. Yes, and don't start him off. Don't give him any am no, ammunition. Oh, I won't. I won't. He's a yeah. terrible house guest. Is he really? Oh, my God. <laughs> we have had SMSs that say, I love you. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's from a guy named Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Someone out there has been saying something about my teeth and I want to know who it is. The SMS says, my husband and I watched all your shows. I don't care what they say about your teeth. I think you've got the cutest smile. <laughs> It's English tea oh. for like nachos anyway, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> so you're here to learn a bit about Singapore. Yeah, of course. And you're staying with Vanessa, so hopefully yeah. you have learned a little oh bit already. Oh my god. It's all up there. It's I'm like the oh. Oracle now. Is I'm like, it? ask me any question. All right, we'll take care of that challenge. You got a question? Okay, yes, we've got okay. any question uh, here we on go. Singapore. Okay. Who was the first Brit to arrive in Singapore? I I'd say Captain Cook. Captain yeah, Cook. right, well done. No. Right, second oh, question. No. Second oh, question. Second question. Okay. What is the local dialect of Singapore? I don't know, I can't understand the bleeding words you say. <laughs> what was that? Say that again? <laughs> I've got a question for you, okay? okay? Go on, go on, go on. Not going to be so hard. What is the capital of Singapore? <laughs> Ian. Is that my cab? It is Singapore. Singapore. Yes. Actually, the capital of Singapore is S. <laughs> Oh, 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 thanks for coming on to the show, Ian. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Cheers, guys. It seems that I've still got a lot to learn about Singapore, so Vanetta suggested that I met a mate, Mr. Brown, who is Singapore's most famous internet blogger. He specialises in reporting on city life, and he says that the racetrack it's the best place to see all the different Singaporean types. I don't even know where the race course is, to be honest. I've come out here, this is where they parade the horses. Yeah, and I'm waiting for you to win, to make me lots of money. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm betting on you. There you go, number two. That's where my, my money's at. Number three now, I don't, I'm, how you doing, man? I need someone to tell me the form, yeah, to show me, you know, what to do. Mr. Brown seems to be in a good mood. Let's hope he's on a winning streak. This is Mr. Brown, yeah, and he's, like, giving me the insight on the horses because he knows the form. But also, he knows the form of a Singapore. So you're going to tell me about the sort of Singapore character, yeah? That's right. Horses and Singapore character, that's me. Yeah, OK, yeah. yeah, right. yeah. That's a winning combination. See what uh, I've done there? Always, yeah. Come on! Win. They better win. It's just the race has started, isn't it? Has it started? Come on! Winner's coming through, winner's coming through. Here they are, here they are, here they are. Come on! Come on, monkey man. Here, yeah, there's yours. Come on! Come on! Oh! All right, all right, all right. We bet $5 straight win, yeah? That's it. $23? Wow. I feel rich. <sighs> to be honest, I'm a little bit gutted. <laughs> what would you say the characteristic of a Singaporean is? Safe. Yeah. Play it safe. Don't get in trouble. 
you know, if you're unhappy about something, you know, don't go up to that person and say he broke it, but maybe take a picture of that person and, you know, <laughs> blog about it. So complain online. Oh, about yeah, or at the coffee shop. What are the, some of the crazy rules? Can you think of any? Chewing gum. You can't, you're not allowed to chew gum. You're allowed to chew gum, I think. You're not allowed to buy or import it. Yeah, I haven't got any. No, you don't, right? No. Ah, yeah. What, what? Who told you I did that, some? <laughs> They have dogs that are trained at customs to smell no. for drugs and chewing gum. You're joking. I was told. There's no way. Yeah, yeah. But trained. I can smell Wrigley's on him. <laughs> so what's the kind of thing that angry people put online about Singapore? What is it? They have a site called Stomp. Yeah. Where they practice what is called citizen journalism, which means people upload um, all kinds of photographs of newsworthy oh, items. Right. And what kind of headlines or something? Like a newspaper, newsletter? Yeah. So, you know, okay. girl, girl found yeah. kissing boyfriend on train in their school uniform. <gasps> no, is that? Oh, I thought it was going to be something political or something. Yeah, no. Put up another one. No. Is this uh. really Changi Terminal 3? Diners dump heaps of dirty trays on floor. That's criminal. It's disgusting. Look, Justin, know. Justin. Creepy guy lies flat on bus floor to peep at girls. I wasn't even there. All right, just move on to the next story. Isn't that, isn't that <laughs> your t-shirt? That looks like your t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who would do that? <laughs> yeah, just move it on, move it on. <laughs> So listening to Mr. Brown about sending pictures of people doing naughty stuff and saying, I thought I'm, I'm, I'm like an undercover journalist now. Guilty litterer. That one, yeah. Hiding behind magazine. Got him. Now I'm on a mission to seek out evil doers all over this big city. That's it, go back a bit, just, just under that sign. Got him, yeah, got one. It's been a couple of years since I last came to Singapore, and it's just amazing how quickly this city changes. Where the hell did that one come from, that monstrosity? Every time I come to Singapore, something changes. There's a new building. It's unbelievable how quickly Singapore changes. They've even got a London Eye, yeah, copied it from us. I was just feeling a little bit self-conscious about my English teeth, so I thought I'd pop into the chemist for some assistance. What it is, is the fact, and it's hard to believe, but chewing gum is illegal in Singapore. The only way you can get it is, like, behind the counter. You know what I mean? If you want the good stuff, hello. Hello, someone else has gone to get some and die. Excuse me. Uh, yes? Have you got any, uh, you know, chewing gum? Yes, we do. Do you? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, I need to have your passport, sir. You need my passport? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Is that's that the good. right one yeah, for you? Yeah, that's minty, that's minty. Okay. It's really, it's just for private use. I'll yeah. probably just, in my own room, okay. I'll probably just this chew one can it. help with your teeth whitening yeah. and also for healthy gum. Good, because my right. gums are terrible, so this will be good. Okay, here we okay. go, sir. Thank Lovely. you. Thanks a lot. As good as his word, Vanetta's husband, Wayne, has invited me to his boxing club so I can go a few rounds with his chums. Anyway, I've just come down here with Wayne to his local boxing gym. He's training himself up. I've never seen him look so aggressive, man. Look at him. Your husband's an animal. He's an animal. Looks <laughs> 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 like I cut my hand or something. He's got the big right. guy going at it, and then Ian's like, oh, my hair. <laughs> What's the project thing about the white-collar boxing? What's that about? Basically, it's taking people who uh, wouldn't normally do this sort of thing, people who work in offices, giving them a chance to get in there and get fit and have a crack at each other. Is that legal? Yeah. It sounds like, like yeah. that's like Fight Club, like the film, yeah? Yeah, a bit like that, but gloves but it's, it's, Big gloves. Yeah. They've paired me up she's, with a fight, so... She's that good a fight with me, <laughs> I tell you. Don't tell me that. <laughs> He, he reckon that guy there, when, when you get hit, you don't feel a thing. Yeah. Rubbish. <laughs> don't feel a thing. I felt it. Right, say that again. <laughs> Seeing it so close up, you forget how brutal the sport is, because you see it on telly all the time. But when you're that far away from a fight... Hey! It's brutal, man. See that? <laughs> You drew that 
There's only one to go. <laughs> Hit her, mate. Don't be scared. She's only a girl. Stop running, Ian. Come on, be a man. What's the time? <laughs> Tablets. <laughs> well done. Oh, come smell that. No, no, we're, we're, good. we're good. We're good. You, you, you take it. No, no, you're, you're, you're good. All right. Okay. What that picture? It never ended like that. Honest. I'm a guest in Singapore with the radio and TV star Vanetta Lopez. And her mate, Mr. Brown, has introduced me to citizen journalism. Now I'm hooked. I'm like an undercover journalist now. Just under that sign. Got him, yeah? Got one. Here we go. I think it's really good printing them out, cos then you can see what they're like. I think they're quite good. I've done well. Oh, Vanette, come and have a look. Come and have a look. Look. You know the uh, internet thing that I was doing it for? That storm. I'm going to try and get on front page. Oh, OK. Look, like there's these? some good ones. Yeah, because, look, guy cycling. So By a non-cycling sign, there. Yeah. Guy looks like he's having a dump in the middle of the um, just, floor. You're just squatting. There's nothing edgy about that. And this guy is not even, like, you know, speeding or... or no, no, no. Doing look, something look, 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 they're kissing underneath the, the raffle. It looks like a postcard. I mean, you could have, what, bought that? Or what, what are they doing there? Oh, no, that wasn't a very good one anyway. They were just sort of sitting on the bench. To be honest, you're right. Now I've got them up. They don't look that good, do they? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to be printed. I'm gonna have to go out and do some more, Anna. Yes, yes, you want. If you want to be printed, right? You want to get on the on the cover and be like, mm, okay. And please do some don't more. put that in, please. All right, thanks for your really positive input. Oh, you're most welcome. If I'm gonna make it as a citizen's journalist, then I've got to get to the mean streets of Singapore, to the projects where life is hard and people chew gum. Uh, I'm still looking for my pictures for the citizen's journalist, so I come off the beaten track a little bit. Sort of just to an area where most Singaporeans, just normal Singaporeans live, which is in these big blocks. But to be honest, I, I've never seen a place so tidy in my life. It's fantastic. Look at this area. For so many people living on top of each other, it's amazing. She's putting all the knickers and bras out. I think I better leave just in case I get arrested. There's a notice there, senior citizen area. How brilliant is that? I never thought I'd see that in Singapore, but there it is. Chewing gum on the floor, trodden in. Country's going to the dogs. What's going on here? Bizarre. I'm gonna challenge these guys to a game of checkers, man. A bit of English. Do you mind if I take a seat there? Oh, yeah, please. Hi. Ian, nice to meet you. Thomas. It looks complicated, this game, Tom. Yes. Yeah, is, is it? Yeah, it's Chinese chess. Really? Chinese chess? Mm. So, do you live in this area? Well, I just live a few blocks away. OK, yeah. yeah. And you come here to meet people? Oh, yes, to meet my old friend to have a game on Sunday morning. Yeah. Yes. I noticed this is like a senior citizen's area. Have they got, like, lots of activities for people that live in the blocks? Oh, yes, yes. We do have uh, not only for the senior citizens, even the youth, they are running around having their games. So would you describe this as, like, social housing? What was this area called? Uh, 
In Singapore, we call it public housing or the heartlands. So these sort of housings would be the heart of Singapore? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Is there much crime here? Since you came, did you yeah. see any policemen? No, no, not so yet. This, but this, this is the what I did see, which I was quite shocked, look at that. Outrageous. Chewing gum, just up there. Haha, <laughs> interesting question. Basically, chewing gum is banned in Singapore. Exactly. So, uh, but we, some people may have brought it in. Look, in maybe it's this, this guy looks guilty. Oh, I don't think so. He's... He looks quite a pretty decent guy. <laughs> <laughs> You judge for yourself out there. <laughs> I'm throwing it out to the audience. <laughs> Guilty or pretty decent guy? I, I lost. Did you lose? <laughs> what happened? I, I lost Did you my win? concentration. <laughs> that's my fault. That's not no, your no, fault. No, no, no that's a, good, good, good. Well done, man. <laughs> Here we are, always on the look still for the photographs. What I want to see is those kids that were, like, jumping around earlier. Here they are, here they are. Do you mind if I take a couple of pictures of you? Yeah, is that all right? Got them. They'll be in jail by the end of the day, trust me. Holy baloney, man. He's like Spider-Man, that one. The sport of parkour was invented by the French, but it's gone global. It's tough and acrobatic, and it's even made its way to Singapore. So it's not showing off. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So what, what's going on then? What's, what are you doing jumping around? Uh, we're actually practicing a discipline called parkour. So is there a purpose? Is it to see the buildings, explore buildings, as well as keeping fit and having fun? Uh, not exactly. The main purpose of parkour is actually uh, it's a skill to overcome obstacles in a fast and efficient manner. So have you ever been arrested or chased by the police there? Arrested? No, because uh, usually when the police try to chase us, they, they can't, yeah. yeah, we are good. So you find Singapore can be quite stale, quite regimented, too many rules? Yeah, it's quite restricting. So Bloody uh... kids, you stop that, I'll be ringing the police, all right? Getting on my nerves now. Oh, sorry, carry on. Yeah, we find quite stale, so that's why we... It's also one of the reasons why we practice parkour. Yeah, yeah we wanted something exciting, something yeah. that really uh, improve our character as well. Uh, how, how high have you been up? when you're, like, mincing around? As far as second floors, third floors, or...? Well, uh, I would say one of my biggest achievements, I did a 19-storey gap jump. 19-storey gap jump? Yeah, it's like... Holy baloney, yeah. man. <laughs> do you think I could do any jumping around? Yeah, sure. Uh... Even me, at my age? Yeah, under the proper training and guidance, you can. So I'm trying to get Hadji Lane. What would be the quickest way to get there? Mm. Tell you what, uh, I'll just bring you there. Yeah, OK. Yeah. All right, you lead on, then. Right. Let's go. Been funny. It looks easy to me. I'm gonna have a go. This is it. Uh, guys, a uh, little bit of help, please. Come on. Help! Help! Oh! Oh! Uh, did you see that? You like that, yeah? That's my new thing now. I just jump around. When I see cities, I just skin. I broke my spine, to be honest. Let's just do some gentle oh, shopping yeah. then. Yeah. Haji Lane is in the Muslim quarter of Singapore and recently has become a bit of a trendy alternative to all of Singapore's modern shopping malls. So this was all Muslim quarter, yeah? Yeah, Arab Street, uh, Kandahar, Basura Street, all that. Yeah. All part of the Muslim quarter. And what other quarters are there in Singapore? Oh, you got your Chinatown. Little Chinatown, India. Little India. Mm -hmm. And then your colonial bit, yeah? <laughs> yes. And it's yeah. lovely to see little boutique shops here and there. Books and, and crannies to hang out. Yeah. I, I smell a bargain. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come, did you smell that? Who's the shopaholic here? <laughs> I, could, I, could, I could go shopping like this or go to work with this kind of What's bag. That? It's a handbag. It's not as a wheel. No, it's a handbag. Is it? It's a handbag. Oh, it doesn't matter. But you can carry a wheel in it. Yeah, no, that's good. With that dress, that would look quite nice, I reckon. 
No, that was the one that I would choose for you, I think, because you've got to wear something different. Hey, I've got some big news. Vanetta's mum and dad, Doreen and Albert, have decided to renew their wedding vows, so they're going to have a big do, which is nice, but Vanetta seems to think that I need to smarten myself up for the big occasion. I brought you here, Ian, because um, I think this shop will be great for an outfit for the wedding. OK, yeah, yeah. I've got something in mind for you, so... Yeah, I bet you have. Take a look. I like it. It looks a bit trendy. Feels fine. It's quite trendy. So, whatever I yeah. choose for you, you're going to try on? Of course I'm going to try on. Yeah? All right, uh, so... Yeah. I mean, I'll probably never wear it. Oh, this one. Yeah, I don't say that. Some oh. are really, really cool. This is, like, the in thing now. Yeah, no, really. Well, it's school you uniform well. is back in, is it? I'm trying to close. It won't close. <laughs> 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 oh, so William! Is this what your dad's going to be wearing? No. So why am I wearing this? Because I thought you looked cute in it. I've been getting on really well with my host, Vanetta Lopez. <laughs> and she's been showing me Singapore from some very interesting this angles. Is it. A little bit of help, please. Time to reveal the secret of the nut. Vanetta's mum, Doreen, was going to cook me the Singapore meal of a lifetime, even though I can't even pronounce any of the ingredients. Yeah, what's this? That's a bit of my insole in my shoe, because my <laughs> shoes stink so much, I had to cut the insole because they stink. Mm -hmm. what, what are we actually cooking? Uh, we are baking chicken wokro. And where's that dish from? Uh, it's actually from Indonesia, this nuts are from Indonesia. Indonesia. OK, this is how you do. Yeah. Right, it's just like Christmas, isn't it? Opening in the nut. Nut. Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's <just evil. laughs> What I want is a meshy type of uh, piece. Then you put it back in the shell? Yeah. Then, oh, see, it's nice and soft now. You don't eat that, though, do you? Do you oh, eat? Yes. Oh, so you actually eat the stuff? It's yes. not just for flavour? No, 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 no. That's nuts. Get it? Okay. Because nuts. Let's. <coughs> anyway, uh, <coughs> now the toilet's broken. It was all right until I moved in. Now this whole bathroom's gone to pop. To be honest, I'm gonna leave it before I get into trouble. I'm out of it. You know when you've been sunbathing and you, you get burnt there and then you've got a little <laughs> bit in the middle? Really embarrassing. Are you flirting with a single girl? Yes. Oh. In my own knows my status really, now. <laughs> in my own really <laughs> English nasty way. See, if an Englishman comes up to you then, don't worry, he likes you if he's being sleazy yeah. and rude oh, and all that. No, not yeah, sleazy, yeah, yeah. insulting. Yeah. 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 And look selfish. Thank you very much. This looks absolutely... Amazing. How does it work out? Do we dish out the rice first, or...? Of course, we have to dance, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Is that a fantastic meal, or what? There we are. Bakala. Good luck. Everybody, Ian is trying the bakala. Bakala. Ooh, the bakala. <laughs> it's not as crazy and as tense as when you first um, have it raw, is it? Singapore must be expensive to live in, yeah? Is it? Mm, that's all right. Do you live with your parents now? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. Mm. How easy is it to uh, meet uh, meet men? Mm, it's not hard to find a man. Men are everywhere, but it's hard to find a good man. How long before you take mum to show your mum? I think probably when you are a little more confirmed that this is the man. About oh. what? Yeah. One year. One year? Wow. Wow. Where have you been? How many movies is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's for a lifetime, right? I mean, this guy, so yeah, one you, year is not too Yeah, but you don't know. Can we have a cheers for mummy? Yeah. 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 Wonderful. Yeah, I, I, I did the spices. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. Well, love's a tricky thing, but Vanetta's mum and dad, Dorian and Albert, are celebrating 41 years of marriage by renewing their vows tomorrow morning. And renewing their marriage vows is a perfect excuse for a second stag night. Woohoo! Just as things were going along swimmingly, Albert got all serious with me and then dropped a biggie. I want you to be, what do you call it? Best man. Best man, that's the best man. Are you sure? Oh. 
You want to give, give it to me now? Oh, yeah. Now, you promised me you'll be in church tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be there. At 10 a.m.? 10? Blimey, that's a bit early. Cheers. I won't let you down. Unfortunately, we decided to have one for the road. Singapore getting to know the Lopez family. Not a bad way to get from the airport back to their house, is it? Somehow I've been roped into being the best man at Vanetta's mum and dad's wedding. And I still haven't recovered from the stag night. Oh. Ricky! Ricky, Ricky! Oh. Yes, sir, T. Oh, Nicole. wow. That's great. Oh, mm. thanks. Never you mind what that is. Okay. You'll find out. What would you say the secret would be for a long marriage? Secret? Yeah, or not the secret, secret. What would be your advice for people? More like, uh, I think, uh, more like what you can do for the other person. Right. right? Yeah. See? That's all. And what that what person can, can do, do for, for you. you. Yeah, not a selfish love, like, yeah. all for me all the time. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, Congratulations, because oh. that's a beautiful thing, 41 years. Thank and, you. And renewing the vows as well. Yeah. That is lovely. That's quite exciting. Yeah, mm. no, I'm, I'm, yeah. that's lovely. The very first thing that I learned about Vanetta's dad, Albert, was that he was a biker nut. I'm not being funny, that's quite an honour, that's fantastic. I 50 know. bikers turning up for you. I'm very flattered, yes. Yeah. But what I didn't realise was that he was a part of a huge biker nut gang. And they have all shown up for the wedding. Like a bunch of troublemakers. <laughs> to me. Not at all, not at sure. all. Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. What do you have to serve them like? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's it. So, all right, why Harley's? What's so special about Harley? There's this saying that goes, you know, if we have to explain it, you wouldn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just plain fun to have, it's a lifestyle. So, do, do the groups do charity work as well, bike groups? You know, we are doing it for the Breast Cancer Foundation and other biker groups, they have their own charity organisations as well, where we support them as well. Singapore's quite conservative, yeah? How do you get on with the authorities with all your big noise and your smelly bikes and your ribbon it up? They know that we don't speed or, or that we stay disciplined somehow yeah. on the road. They know that very well. When, when you're on the bike. What about when you're off the bike? That's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate Welcome. it. Uh, Thank you. Oh, listen to that. It started already. What a fantastic turnout. This is going to look beautiful. And it's all about the sound of the exhaust. How does it feel, be on the bike? Make sure you get off the bike, yeah? Just don't go round, off in the sunset. Look at that. Is that a beautiful sight or what? Come on, let's run, guys. Let's run, man. seen such an entrance to a church in all my life. How are we doing? What time? I don't actually know. What? I don't actually know. You don't know? 
Have you got the ring? What? Have you got the ring? Hey, hey, hey. Don't you know what? Don't play for this. It's very serious. Huh? And you had it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> look lovely. You look really lovely. Yeah. Thanks. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Woman, woman, where are thou? Deep Purple will be playing at half 12 and ACDC at half two. So, what it is, is like West Side Story. It's the sharks and the jets. Da -da 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 -da. We're gonna get you the sharks and the. So, how are you feeling today, Albert? Oh, no. At this present moment, I'm very nervous. And has... Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Don't do that, because I'm, I'm getting nervous now. So, if you want to make your confession before Love. this, the confessionals are just over there. <laughs> Trust me, we, we haven't got that long, yeah? <laughs> And so I invite you, Albert and Doreen, to renew your marriage vows, to join your hands and to once more declare your consent before God and his church. And now we will commence with the ceremony of the blessing and the exchange of the rings. Ian, I gather that you're here as the ring bearer. Do you have the rings with you? Yeah, okay. Oh. I think we've got a problem here. The ring's missing, Ian. You're joking me. Oh, my God, you know what's happened? Sit tight just for five five minutes, trust me, five minutes is Sorry, carry on. Repeat after me, Doreen. Doreen. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. Albert. Albert. Take this ring. Take this ring. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. As you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Come on, kiss the bride. He's right. You yeah. make one. Kiss the bride. Hey, there they go off into the sunset. Hey. How beautiful was that, man? I love it. Uh, but as you can see, there's a whole side to Singapore that needs exploring. I'm just lucky enough to have seen it, and usually through their eyes and this lot. Fantastic. If I'm being completely honest with you, I really did think that Singapore was going to be boring. Like, you know, conservative, one big shopping mall. But luckily for me, because I stayed with a family, they showed me a completely different sign. You know, great places to go, things to do, exploring loads of nooks and crannies, and... I've loved staying here. I just hope that they feel the same. Oh, thanks, big man. Thanks for arranging that beating. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. That. <laughs> I know any time you... <laughs> but then, oh, mwah, thanks a lot. It was a little... Wonderful Fantastic. Honey. Cheers for letting me into your household. I hope it went too bad. No, I loved it. Guests. Thanks very Except much. Oh, yeah. And I, the sheets. Thought, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> and I was breaking up my parents' marriage in 31 years. <laughs> yeah, but apart from all that, 
I loved it. <laughs> that was great. You <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, come back anytime. Yeah. Oh, by the way, your citizen's journalism thing. Yeah, I pulled some strings. Your, your pictures are coming out. Wow. Oh, that's fantastic. Welcome. Ooh, wow. I loved it.